under the hood. So welcome to HMTV, uh, Hildebrand Motors TV. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, some common noises in your car. Uh, we got Richard Fair here and myself, Tim Bowen, and uh, welcome to the new installment of 2013. So uh, let's talk about uh, if your car is making a clicking noise when turning, what is it most likely the problem? Okay, um, a lot of times uh, we find that uh Especially with the transaxle or front wheel drive vehicle, the, the axles in the front have, the, the boot may have come apart from age or cracking and dirt and water enters the, what we call the CV joint area. Right. And, and then of course it just starts to wear and it deteriorates and when it's dry, it'll start clicking. And you'll definitely more so notice it on turns because that's when it's, it's actually working. So where exactly is the CV joint for those who don't know? Um, on, it's at the front of the car and it's hooked to your one of your front wheels uh, with the big nut and an axle and it's uh, it extends from the transmission area. Okay. Yeah. Is there any, uh, should somebody, like when you're washing your car, if you have a hoist or anything like should you keep that clean? Or? Yeah, well, it, generally once they crack or break, you'll see a, a sign of grease all over the place and that's just an indicator to get it fixed okay. right away. So if you see uh, grease on like on your yeah. your garage floor or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't generally, you know, you'll notice the grease before anything and, and once there's grease it's too late to do anything about it, you just have to get it repaired. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what about water pump noises and uh, are, they, are they very difficult to diagnose or like maybe not for a guy like you but for somebody yeah. else it may be, right? Um, we find that uh, people come in and say, you know, when my vehicle's idling, I've got this rumbling noise or I've got a, a, a humming noise that I didn't hear before. Mm. Um, and generally, when a water pump or uh, even something that the belt drives, and that's why it makes it difficult to diagnose is because the you need to isolate which of the bearings or pulleys is actually causing the noise. Right. And uh, what might seem like a water pump noise, unless you can wiggle the, the pulley, you can usually tell then that the water pump's bad. It, it can be uh, one of the idler pulleys uh, that's causing the issue also. Uh, it is difficult to diagnose and we usually have specific tools that we you know, kind of isolate it with. Right. Yeah, stethoscope like a doctor has. And that helps to determine that too. Uh, if you do hear a noise like that, it's really important that you get it checked right away because uh, if a belt comes off or a, a bearing goes, it can cause issues. Right. So, yeah. So best thing to do if you hear different noises within your car that you haven't heard before is the, the best thing is to bring it in to get it checked, right? Yeah. Generally, it's it's uh, uh, one of the guys up front will probably have heard the noise before and, mm -hmm. and be able to steer you in the right direction too. Right, right. Now engine belts, they can sometimes create a big squeak or a squeal. Um, what do you recommend for something like that if that's yeah. happening? I, again, that's that's one of those, isn't that annoying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you hear them go down the street. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times the issue is just the belt itself. It's been, it's old, it's glazed. Sometimes, like I said before, if a pulley is starting to seize up, then mm. you're, you're going to hear a noise like that. Um, one thing we should remember when you hear a, a squeak or a squeal is that the tensioner that keeps the belt tight could be losing its tension or there could be something wrong with it. Right. And that will leave the belt loose and that will cause noises like that too. Okay. Um, now, do you normally get these these noises that we're talking about? All the different ones that we've been talking about. Do they normally happen uh, just with older vehicles, or do they happen with newer vehicles as well? Or yeah, for the most part, it's it's generally when the vehicles get a little bit older. And um, uh, again, maintenance is a really important here, with especially with belts and, and pulleys and that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, when you hear the noises, get it addressed because it generally doesn't go away. Right. Or change. Uh, people try to mask it with sprays and right. and that type of thing, but it, 
it's just a short term solution a lot of times. Right. Um, the newer ones are pretty trouble free in that, you know, the 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 belt systems you used to look under the hood and go, Oh my gosh, you know, what's what's going on <laughs> with all the routings and uh, uh, some of them are still like that but but for the most part it's it, they've simplified that and a lot of Things are driven by chains and stuff inside the engine now. Mm. Yeah. So. And belts. Yeah. And what do you recommend? Like when a person comes to get their oil changed here, yeah. we check for a bunch of different things, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, what, uh, what do you recommend with that? Do you we, we generally will hear something like that when we drive it in and, and make you aware of that. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when you're, you're coming in the door, we'll hear a noise and, and you know, pop the hood up and have a look and see if, if there's something that we should be looking at other than just the normal loop uh, things, right? So um, noises like that, they vary so much and, and sometimes it does take a trained ear to, to be able to say, oh, you know, I've heard that before and uh, it's probably this, so. Right. And when, we, when you bring your your car to get checked here, like an oil change or whatever, there is a checklist that uh, the customers do receive, and and if there's anything that's not there uh, that they want checked, they can just talk to the service writer. Right, right. If they've noticed, and uh, we were going to maybe elaborate on this a little later, but you know, what, dif different driving seasons will bring on different noises, and mm. you know, sometimes it's when you hit a bump, sometimes it's when. Uh, uh, you're just driving in a straight line. Sometimes it's when you're idling, right. and all those things are, are a lot of times something that uh, uh, you know we've heard before, but you may, it may be new to you. Right. And uh, in, in Alberta, the cold weather will bring on different noises, uh, and it'll be gone during the summer, and you'll wonder why that is. And uh, you know things contract and expand, and, and uh, in some cases. It may be a normal noise. In most cases, it probably isn't. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Um, now, if a car is idling and there's a rattling noise, what would that normally be? Yeah. Normally, um, it's a, a generally a shield of some type. Uh, uh, maybe something has hit the exhaust system underneath. Mm. Uh, you know, repositioned it. Sometimes the hangers will let loose or something like that. But um, generally at idle with, with rattle noises, it'll be a shield of some type that, that does that. Uh, if it goes away when you're increasing in speed, um, you know, it could be something else, but right. you know, it could be in, uh, engine related too. Um, mostly we see that with exhaust issues. And they, there's a lot of covers underneath that uh, protect the, the rest of the vehicle from the heat of the exhaust. Right. And we find a lot of those things loose. So best, you know, with any any odd or weird noise that you hear from your car, um, ones that we touched on or ones that uh, we haven't, best to bring it into the dealership and, and get it checked exactly. thoroughly before yep. you keep going and maybe make some more damage. Yeah. Uh, the front end components that will cause a lot of times noises. And uh, yeah, it, and then, of course, you're talking about safety aspects, right? Right. So, yes, definitely on what you were saying there. So with, with the different changes, like you said before, about the weather and stuff like that, now that we're, you know, coming out of uh, winter, going into spring, you know, what, uh, are there going to be more noises? Could there be more noises? What, what, uh, what about that? Yeah. Uh, like I was saying, generally, winter brings on a whole different mm -hmm. set of noises. Uh, spring, um, because you've got all the road wash and, and snow melting and that, again, it may, if you have a cracked boot, like I said, it may aggravate that type of a situation. And, uh, you know, generally we catch that kind of thing when we do the oil changes and, and inspections. Uh, well, I, I should say for the most part we do because that's what we're trained to look for. Right. And uh, um, so generally the, the spring inspections will, will kind of bring forward any of those issues that might have happened. Well, plus with all the snow melting and stuff, and <coughs> there's potholes, yeah. right, that yeah. you can hit really hard and not know it, and then yeah. something could happen there. Exactly. Stabilizer so. links and stabilizer bars and, and 
bushings and stuff like that. So, yeah. So would you recommend that, um, you know, I, I know you, you, we recommend that you bring your oil changes in and stuff like that, but even with, throughout the seasons, bring your vehicle in just to, you know, if, if it's not making any noise, obviously not, but I mean, just, if it is doing something different or, or weird or sounds different, should they bring it in? Yeah, and, and when we do have something, you know, if it's just one issue and, and you're not sure about whether it's, it's a problem, that's what we're here for. We, we, you know, as myself, as the shop foreman, we'll probably jump in the vehicle with you and go for a ride and you can show me what it's doing and then we can determine from there that, you know, well, yes, we should lift it up and have a look or, you know, this is something that you don't have to worry about. Right. But uh, if it's a concern to you, usually it's something that we should be addressing. Right. And don't be, uh, don't be scared to ask for that yeah. kind of service, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, the advisors may go out with you or, or they'll just get me in. All right, well, that's a good show, I think. Um, do you have anything else to add there, Richard? No, I think we kind of touched on the, uh, the, the winter and mm -hmm. spring and summer uh, driving things and, and just that people should be aware that, that these noises can change and that doesn't mean it's, it's gone, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. So if you do have an issue or a noise or whatever, sh you should bring it in. If you did have a noise and you don't now, I think you should still bring it in because there <laughs> obviously was something that was doing that so better to be safe than sorry and better to pay a few hundred bucks now than a few thousand maybe down the road so uh, good talking with you guys today and I uh, hope you have a great day thanks a lot for joining us uh, signing off Tim Bone and Richard Fair and have a great one <laughs>